Um, okay, so Weynard, what are we expecting here? Are you excited? I'm very excited. I think the Freedom Front is uh, uh, developing the ability to mo uh, mobilize people and uh, to get them together. You know, in politics, one doesn't want to feel alone. You want to feel part of a crowd. Um, the, the emotional part of politics is uh, just as important as the um, intellectual part. Mm. And do you feel the momentum building? Definitely, uh, from all the provinces. And I think that's one of the interesting things of the Freedom Front, that it is not a localized party. Uh, it's, it's truly a national party in the sense that uh, we have our support base in every, in every province. Mm. And you see growth in the Northern Cape? Yes, definitely. You know, in the Northern Cape, wherever you grow, you do it from a small base. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the Northern Cape, uh, we are reaching out to more minorities. Actually, the Northern Cape is a province of minorities. Mm. Um, nobody in the Northern Cape uh, is part of a national majority. Mm. Uh, and that's very important uh, because there are indigenous cultures which are really uh, endangered, not just uh, you know, the traditional Afrikaner culture that people focus yeah. at, but uh, uh, different Khoi cultures, Nama. And uh, I think people start to realize that you have to mobilize around your own culture. You, you can't leave it to somebody to yeah. do so. That's interesting. Is the Northern Cape actually the most diverse province? Or is that...? Well, if you uh, want to put it that way, the Northern Cape is the most Afrikaans province. In that way, uh, since it's not diverse. But uh, the Khoi uh, structure traditionally have a very wide variety of different um, clans uh, and different languages, which uh, if you don't know, it seems, uh, in, you know, the same. It sounds the same, but it's uh, sometimes unintelligible, unintelligible to each other. And then uh, it's literally true that languages are dying out. That you would read the last speaker of a specific language has just died. It's actually very sad. Yeah. You know, it's because of the remoteness of the province in other areas of the Old Cape, um, people assimilated into the Afrikaans, let's call it colored culture, uh, much earlier. But the whole colored identity doesn't uh, really, uh, you know, uh, do justice to the multitude of identities. Mm. What do you have the most hope for? Independence or the multi-party charter? Uh, the multi-party uh, party charter is just uh, a way to getting to independence. Uh, we should work towards Cape independence, and Cape independence isn't the exact same as Western Cape independence. Uh, there are parts of the Northern Cape which I don't think logically fit in with a Cape independence, and there are parts which are. And uh, that is the more permanent solution. Uh, having a multi-party coalition is just uh, a stepping stone towards that. In the end, you need a certain level of cultural coherence for a state to flourish. Yeah. And South Africa does not have that coherence. And Understatement. <laughs> uh, huge yeah. problem. It, it, it's true, yes. And uh, something like Cape Independence, uh, I, I, I must concede that what will be left of South Africa still doesn't have a lot of coherence uh, because different Nguni nations, different um, Sututswana nations. Uh, but uh, that's a kind of thing that you can't decide for other people. Yeah. Uh, but you can and should decide for yourself.